Hello everybody, welcome back to another Danger 5 Rotato Guide. Today I will be doing the Multitasker character. With the Multitasker you get a plus 20 damage increase, and you can equip up to 12 weapons at a time. But with each weapon you equip, you get a negative 5 damage uh, decrease. So, we'll see, uh, what, which, what should we go with here? We could go with a lot of different things. All these weapons are really good. The multitasker is one of the easier characters, actually, I think, in my opinion. Uh, you have a ton of weapons and a ton of different synergies you could go with. But I think for the sake of this guide and to make things as easy as possible, I'm just going to go with the stick. Stick is such a great weapon. It... Does melee damage, does a lot of melee damage, and you get a lot of good perks right at the beginning with it, so it's one of my recommended weapons if you just want to go all melee on most characters. You could go a couple of different rounds with multitasker, but I found stick is easiest and best option. So here we're just gonna look for a little bit of harvesting if we can. I didn't get any harvesting, so I will just take we'll do a little bit of the speed start out and here I'm just gonna continue to roll and see if we get a bunch of sticks so I'm gonna kind of skip anything unless I see a gentle alien uh, propeller head is really good so I think I will lock that in landmines will take maybe later get another stick so roll one more time and maybe lock in the coupon so we can get a little bit of savings going hope everybody's day is going well Try to get to this tree. Just barely made it to that tree in time. Alright, here we got a level 2 upgrade for max HP, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take that. And another stick. We'll take the propeller. Oh, we'll take the coupon for now. And keep re rolling here. Could have took a hedgehog there, but I wanted to roll for more sticks, so. Stick is great, you get, with each stick you get, you get increased damage, so with this character it's really beneficial um, to get all 12 sticks because then you're going to get an insane amount of damage. It also, its perk is when you get 6 sticks, you get um, increased health, overall health, so you can see we're already up to 31 health, which is really nice because then we don't have to worry so much about dying on Danger 5. I've got exactly 69 materials right now. Look at that. So let's just keep going here, and I will take some melee damage, and we'll do some life steal since it's a level two. And take another stick. Take the propeller hat this time. And another stick. Just keep going. Now every time we do take this, we do lose five damage, but the sick stick will compensate for that and still keep our damage up fairly high. We do want to get our damage back up to at least positive. Which we'll work towards that once we get going here. Right now we want to kind of get... Should get our harvesting up a little bit more, maybe a little bit more attack speed. You can see everything's dying fairly easily. Get your trees when you need to, and... Dodge the projectiles when you need to. Here I'm going to take plus 8 harvesting because we we need to get that going, like I just said. We don't need range, so Beanie is going to be really good for us. So I'm going to take Beanie for the extra speed increase. Plant's good because it get HP regen. We lose a little bit of life steal, but HP regen is really good. And, I mean, you could go with Slingshot and build some uh, range and melee build both uh, because slingshot is a primitive also but you're not going to get any more benefits from it because it, you only get the benefit of the 15 max HP from the six weapons anything above that you're not going to get anything from so but I'm just going to keep building up sticks because we already have an additional 24 to stick damage and leather vest is awesome so we're going to take that because you get armor and dodge now we don't need range so I'm not going to lock that in Let's go to wave five. You could go with a uh, engineer build for this and just take all wrenches and just really just up your engineer uh, perk and 
get a ton of turrets going and destroying everything on the screen. I personally don't like the engineer build all that much. I just I feel like I'd rather be melee or ranged. I like shooting or hitting things. But it, it's a totally viable option for this character. Okay, I'm gonna take four more melee damage here, so get our melee damage up even higher. I'm gonna take some more harvesting because it's only wave five, so we might as well boost our harvesting. We got another level two stick, we got a level one. Uh, we got lemonade, which is great because it gives us HP regen. All these items are great, so they only set the knife, so we're gonna take, we're definitely gonna take another stick, we'll lock in another propeller hat, we'll lock in another lemonade. So now you can see that our level two sticks are up to plus 54 damage and our level ones are at plus 36 damage, so. Lots of sticks. And because you have so many weapons, these they're on cooldown all the time, so. Uh, you know, obviously once we get a full 12, we'll just be destroying everything, so. If we get our attack speed up, it's like nothing will have a chance to even get close to us. The only thing you really have to just watch out for and dodge eventually will be the projectiles. And those can still hurt on Danger 5 pretty bad. Can end a run pretty quickly. Alright, plus 6 to melee damage. That'll be great for us. So I'm going to take that. And take all this stuff leather vest again we're gonna take another one coffee's gonna be great that's gonna up our attack speed we're losing a lot of damage here right now so uh we really need to start pumping our damage up at some point and that's what head injury is for as we say that and we're gonna lock in beanie too and we'll lock in cute monkey because cute monkey gives you one hp for picking up material but head injury uh we don't need range so we're gonna get that extra six damage back start getting all our damage back Another viable build for this would be the um, ethereal weapons, like the Ghost Axe, the Ghost Flint, the Ghost Scepter, all that stuff. So those can build up and ramp up very a lot at the end, um, so you can get a lot of damage right at the end. The hard part about that to start out with, especially if you're only doing Danger 5 for the first time, or if you're just trying to pass the character for the first time, is that you'll be low on armor, and low on armor, you get one-shotted very easily or two-shotted very easily um, right at the start of the game. Obviously, you get the armor back, and if you get back into the, you know, positives with that, yeah, that build can be very, very powerful too, so. I have played that on this character also, and beat it several times with the ethereal weapons, but I think the stick is the way to go. Uh, let's re-roll here. And nice, we got some level 3 upgrades. I think I'm going to take the 9 dodge here, just to get our dodge up even higher. Start getting a damage back, more speed, more HP recovery. Uh, we'll take more HP recovery. Dangerous Bunny, that's free reroll, so we'll definitely take that. Uh, we don't need burning or anything, so we don't need that stuff, but we will lock in another stick. So we're at 10 of 12 sticks right now. Uh, you can see these are dealing quite a bit of damage. The level 2s are dealing almost 800 damage right now, so... These guys should die pretty quick. Just because of the amount of damage we have. We could almost use a gentle alien or a mouse here, because the enemies are kind of going kind of fast, so... Those those items would help us get more melee or more harvesting and more materials, which would just help us get more buffs and items. So watch out for those projectiles; they, they will hurt though if you get hit too many times with them. So. We're getting ready to go into wave nine here, so we could use a little bit more harvesting. Uh, this is a level three upgrades on wave eight, so 
We could go six melee damage. I think I'm gonna reroll here and see if we can get some harvesting. We did, we got 10 harvesting, so I'm gonna take that. And then I'm gonna take some life steal here to start getting our life steal back up. Another stick, another cute monkey. Uh, insanity, we don't wanna lose any more damage at this point. We're already pretty low on damage. So we have 12 of 12 sticks right now. That means each stick has a plus 44 increase. And these are not upgraded yet. So when we start upgrading these, it'll even get higher. You can see that a level two gets a plus 66 damage increase. And I think I will take metal here for the increased damage. We got to get back and the HP, armor, and speed. So, so now we're at our cap of like the loss of damage that we have. So we have to get back about 40 damage, um, which you know the missile will help that. So we'll lock that in and get 10 from that. The bag's really good. We lose one speed, but we'll get 15 materials from each crate that we get. But now we got a full 12 stick going and kills all these mobs very quickly. Like I said, you can you can see that a lot of stuff's already on cooldown by the time they get to me. Heck, attack speed's really gonna ramp up and, and destroy these guys really fast. So we'll get that up too. But if we get our damage back in the positive, we should have no problem against the bosses. Definitely one of the best characters in the game, in my opinion. Easiest to beat on Danger 5. One of the easier ones, for sure. Alright, we got 500 materials from that. That's a pretty good wave. Uh, Bat, I will take the two harvesting, or lose two harvesting, take the life steal, And we're going to take the 9 max HP, so we're up to 50 already on that. And I'll take the HP regen. Pocket Factor is awesome, so we're definitely going to take that. Get more damage up. We don't need the explosion side. The repost or reposta. Um, I will take that for the plus two melee damage. And you have a chance of dodging their attack. And our dodge is already at 21. We want to get our dodge way up. Chameleon could be good for this. Um, plus 20 to dodge. We're going to lose another 4 damage. But I'm not going to take that right now. I might take that later if we get enough attack speed where we can just stand in the middle of the board and not have to do anything. Uh, wheelbarrow I'm going to take for the additional harvesting. We lose a little bit of armor, but that's okay. And let's just keep re-rolling here. Hunting trophy, I'm going to take that. Chance to gain extra materials. Ritual's good because we don't have engineering, so we get our damage back and life steal. And leather vest, we'll lock all that in. So our, ideally, I want to just be able to stand in the middle here and just not have to do anything <laughs> on this build, but uh, we'll get to that point. Right now, I still got to dodge a little bit. Tree. Hopefully make it over there in time. We do got pocket factory now, so the turrets will start showing up after we kill the trees. You get the pocket factory early on a engineering build, it can be really awesome and make the, the run way easy. But like I said, you can go with full turrets and take all wrenches the whole way if you really wanted to do that. Energy bracelet, we're going to not take that because, uh, you know what, we will take that because we don't need range damage and critical chance and elemental damage, why not? Critical chance, we got back up to zero, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to reroll here and take some attack speed. Let's start getting our attack speed up. Take that, take that. Hunting trophy. Mastery is great for us because we're not taking range, so plus six melee damage is awesome. Just more damage. Uh, fertilizer is always good even though you lose the melee damage, so... You know what? Maybe not. I'm not going to take that. But I will take the metal detector for more materials gained. Hopefully we can get a... This is the monk. Um, the monk drops eggs, so... We're going to just hang out around the monk. 
kill his eggs off before they have a chance to spawn. And then just kind of stick by him. Literally stick by him. No pun intended. Um, and just hang out and he should slowly go down to mutate again. Stay as close as you can to him without getting hit too much. We'll do the little circle thing, but as long as you stay within the circle, move, make slight movements. Uh, you don't have to move extremely too much, but uh, that's it. And once you take them down, you get your full health back. So if you're pretty low on health, make sure you grab that crate. We also got 15 materials because we took the bag earlier. So every time we get a crate, we get an additional 15 materials from that. It's really nice to be able to kill the bosses on wave 11 uh, and not have too much trouble. Jetpack is plus 15 speed, plus 10 dodge, minus HP and armor. I'm going to take that just because uh, it would be nice to have that much speed and extra dodge. So Here I'm going to take some armor. I think I'm going to go plus 3 armor to add a little bit more HP. Um, defenses. Take the metal detector. We'll keep re-rolling here. We're not getting a lot of stick upgrades at this time, so um, that's kind of unfortunate, but keep going. I could take even more speed here, but I think I'll just save the 50 at this point. I think 28 speed is, is pretty solid, so uh, I will take the Hedgehog for the more melee damage. And here we got Mouse, which is a really nice item. Plus 5 to lifesteal, plus 10 enemies. We lose a little bit of harvesting, but those extra 10 enemies would be really great for harvesting. And we could take Scar for extra HP. Let's just go ahead and do it. We got the money, so... We're just going to level up a little bit faster there. But now you can see I'm moving much faster now. Can move around the board very easily. Just want to get some more attack speed, I think, at this point. And I think uh, this run should be pretty much coasting through the rest of the way. We get stick upgrades too, I think that's going to really help our overall damage. It's going to be amazing once we get to the end. But I'm not really like paying too much attention here, I'm just kind of going around killing stuff and not even really dodging, I'm just kind of going around and getting materials and running around. Toolbox, uh, plus 6 engineering, we don't need that, so I'm going to go ahead and recycle. And I think I'm going to take a little bit more lifesteal here. We keep getting our lifesteal up. Uh, Black Belt is good for us because we have XP gain and plus 3 melee damage. Uh, it sucks losing the luck, but maybe we can get back that later. We have a lot of speed, um, so I think I'm going to... No, I'm not going to take Campfire here. And we don't need Scare Sausage at this point. Black Belt again, so another plus 3 to melee damage. Uh, yeah, let's just go... We'll do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, nothing really here, so these are all just ranged or whatnot. We really want sticks. I think I will take Tyler here just because we haven't really got anything. Head injury, we're gonna lock in. Recycling machine, we'll lock in. Little frog, we'll lock in. We'll lock in all that stuff and then go on to the next wave. I've been really enjoying doing these guides. If you enjoyed them too, please give me a like and subscribe, it's really helpful. I also have transitioned over to doing some kind of live guides. Um, that's kind of a new thing I've been doing. I stream over on Twitch, and sometimes I do play and do these guides live. So people can come in and ask me questions. Right now, these are recorded, but I will be having other live guides. I have some for Gungeon right now, where I'll be doing Gungeon runs. Um, and just going over tips and tricks of how I get through Gungeon runs one of my favorite games so if you want to jump in there and you have any questions you can do that whenever I'm live all right bait's awesome uh, I don't know if the next wave is an elite wave or not but it might be 
you know, we'll go ahead and take it anyways. Lure's gonna be awesome too, so it's probably an elite wave next, but we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna reroll here, and I will take the nine dodge, and then I will take. Let's do the six melee. We'll do more melee. Start getting our damage back again. We're almost at. We're at negative twelve damage, and we want to buy all this stuff, so buy it all. Another repasta, and yep, it's an elite wave. So we got a lot of stuff going on in this wave right now. We got our baits. You can see I kill these guys pretty quick. Once you take those guys out, they don't come back, so you don't have to worry about it after that. But we got that extra eight damage there. And then we also have these loot aliens that are popping up. We got a couple crates there from the loot aliens. We got another guy over here. And we can get to him. Oh, we got a lot of loot aliens. We got another. There's another one there. We just got four crates on that. So this can get a little overwhelming because we have a lot of projectiles. Um, so just kind of keep an eye on your health and make sure you're trying to avoid the projectiles as much as possible. I'm not doing the greatest job right now. I'm kind of, you know, running into stuff, so I'm not really paying attention. But you can see that we're still surviving. And, I mean, if you have to, just, like, kind of park yourself in a corner. Or just run over and try to avoid the projectiles and grab, you know, trees and stuff when you can. Pretty easy. We got through that. We got 800 harvesting materials, which is pretty good. Alien magic plus HP, HP regen for a little bit of luck, so we we're gonna take that. Our luck wasn't that great anyways. Wings is awesome, more speed, more range. Cyberbolts for free, we'll take it. Regeneration potion is great, so not really any downside to that. Plus three HP regen, you double when you're below 50. And snail, we don't really care about snail. Uh, next we could keep going. You know what? I'm going to take the 15 luck just to get our luck back up a little bit. And then let's take, uh... I think I'm going to go dodge here to get my dodge up to 50. The cap is 60, so we want to get up to that eventually. We don't need speed. We will take the extra life steal from Butterfly. Um, we don't care about elemental damage. So we got another stick here so we can upgrade. Finally, got a little stick. Uh, lucky Chara plus 30 Lucky. I think I'm going to take this because I want to get my luck even higher. Maybe we can get some more stick upgrades, which would be great. Let's re-roll here. So now we're starting to get some of these stick upgrades. Let's get those. Grab all that. Uh, another Cyberball. We could go with that. Or Alien Eyes. Um, all options. Well, let's just go ahead and take them both. These big guys with the... After you kill them, they farm these... Usually three of those little projectile guys. So you just kind of want to hang around those and make sure you kill them. Set it in other guys. You see some of my other guys. It's just kind of a repeat tips every once in a while just to, in case somebody's seen this guy for the first time. So. Some people can beat certain characters right away and want to check out my other guys, you know, to see how they can get by a character maybe they're having difficulty with. So Sometimes I repeat myself. Doing pretty good on damage. I'm not really having any life issues. Um, we're already up at 58 health, which is nice. All right, piggy bank. Uh, we're only at wave 15. We're at wave 15, but this is free, so I'm just gonna take it. Snail, we don't need again. Attack speed plus 20. That's great. We'll definitely take that. And let's get our damage back up to zero. So now we're at zero damage. So we are in the positives again. Blood Leech, I will sacrifice a little bit of harvesting for HP and life steal. We don't need any more luck at this point. Let's go with uh, upgrading another stick. I usually just keep combining until we get to level three sticks. Uh, plus eight to dodge. Let's go ahead and do that and lose one armor because we're almost at cap. We're at 58 now. We got two left to get to cap on dodge. 
Uh, ritual we will take because of the damage and lifesteal. So now we have six damage. Nice. And alloy. I think we'll lock alloy in because we'll sacrifice a little bit of dodge just for the extra melee damage and the extra crit chance. So. I'm just going into these packs and, and hitting them. Uh, you want to take out these guys with the little warts because those guys are the ones that buff the other guys that are turned red. Hey, make sure to hit all the trees because we got Pocket Factory too. So more damage. Not really having. By the time I'm even getting to most of these mobs, they're they're dead. And also we have a lot of dodge too, so we can run into these guys and not even really be affected for the most part. If we do, you just go grab a tree or grab some health. Eventually we'll get to the point where we don't even have to move, I'm sure. Alright, 700 materials there, that's pretty good. I'll take a Tyler for free. And then we got our HP capped at 60. You could do that. Um, I think I might, just because normally you'd want to get to about 100 HP, but I think I want more damage. We're gonna go full damage. More attack speed, and take that. Take that upgrade. We got another stick upgrade. The relic's amazing. It's just, it instantly attracts all the materials, so we're definitely gonna take that, so we don't have to run around the board anymore. And medical turret, we'll just go ahead and take a medical, medical turret. Pumpkin's great on range builds. Little frog we could take again for more harvesting and pickup range, but we're at wave 16, so I'm not going to really deal with that. Got the punchy bag wave here. If you're taking down these guys really quickly, then you should have any issues going forward, which we are, so... Even even the buffed ones that are red are going down fairly quickly. So. I consider myself somewhat of a multitasker. I can I like to do multiple things at once. Usually when I'm working, I can work, be in a meeting, talk to people, do all that. I also like to do things where like you do laundry while you're working. <laughs> the working remote is really nice for stuff like that. Getting all the extra stuff done throughout the day. Okay, plus 12 to dodge would cap us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. We'll cap at 64. So now we can lose dodge and we can lose four dodge basically if we have a, another item that reduces dodge. Uh, Butterfly will take for more life steal. Flaming Knuckles is good um, if you're doing like a fist build or whatever, which is an option too. You could take just six sticks and then go with like a basically just a, a brawler type build where you just have nothing but a fist. We'll take some landmines, reroll. There's another Tyler we could take, so let's go ahead and take that. Just burn through some money here. And harvesting we don't need at this point. XP game we don't really need at this point. A uh, little muscle do we will lock in and we'll go to wave 18. So this is uh, the Mantis. And just got a bunch of, he throws out a bunch of projectiles every which way. Just kind of avoid those until he mutates. And then this one's kind of random. It's kind of hard and he'll come out at you. So just be aware of that. Um, do your best to dodge his coming straight at you and the projectiles at once. He can be a little rough sometimes. And also you're dealing with projectiles from the other the other guys that are spawning, so. But I'm not really having any issues here. I think we'll take him down. Yeah, got him, so. Too many bosses down. Um, already both killed fairly easily. <coughs> Kind of hanging out in the middle there, I was really looking. Explosive turret, we'll just take it for free. Ricochet, we don't need it because we don't have uh, uh, 
projectiles, so I'm gonna recycle that. We got a like, level four upgrades here on uh, wave 18, so I think we're just gonna go full attack speed on this, so we'll do more attack speed. A little mostly dude, incendiary turret, keep you rolling. More sticks. Let's see if we got any regular sticks. I think we do. Yeah, we got one. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, another stick upgrade. Let's see if we can get some more sticks here. Head injury will take for more damage. Get another stick. Um, critical chance for armor. Let's just go ahead and do that. We'll take a little bit more crit. And I think that's all we're going to get out of that. We're going to wave 19. It's before the boss wave, so... I'm just going to kind of hang out here in the middle and see if we can survive for a while without having to do anything. <coughs> Excuse me. Coffee. So I'm not really seeing my health go down. It could be because of the medical turrets right there. But we're also tracking all the materials using the relics, so... Not really doing anything here. I am taking some damage there, so I'm gonna bail a little bit. But look how fast I got my health back. Uh, you know, just going around and grabbing the health, extra health. If I actually dodge, then I'll stay alive longer, but you might want to move around a little bit. Helps take out the, the little warty guys too, um, instead of just standing there, because they those usually go to the end of the board, um, so they're off to the side, which makes those guys a little bit more powerful. Speed is capped at 38. We're definitely going to take this because we need the HP regen, and our speed is fine at 38. So and Let's re-roll here and see what we get. We don't need dodge. Uh, we don't really need any of these. We can just take the max HP, but we're capped on that too, so I'll just go with the HP regen for now, I guess. I'm gonna combine that and take another stick. Dangerous bunny. Everything else is pretty much capped. Uh, we will take this for the plus three melee damage and crit chance. And now we're back down a little bit below cap on dodge, so which is fine. Cute monkey, we'll take that. Uh, we don't really need anything else there. Armor was standing still. That's actually pretty good for us because we wanted to stand still, but. We're going into wave 20, it's boss wave. So we're gonna be moving around more, so we don't really want that right now. Uh, we'll take this charcoal for more melee damage, and I think that's it. I think that's all we're gonna be able to get for now. Would've been nice to have this level three stick, but let's go into wave 20. So these guys, I find the stick sometimes when you stand straight um, against a boss or whatnot, it tends to not hit as fast, in my opinion. Um, so if you kind of circle around them, I feel like it hits faster. I know it's weird, but I just feel that way. Took some damage there, but I'm also just kind of not really dodging all that well right now, so. Alright, one guy down, and got plenty of damage to be able to take this guy down. So, there you go, we took him down in about... I think it was probably about 30, 40 seconds, so um, we took all the sticks. We didn't get a lot of stick upgrades there. We just got a lot of overall sticks um, that weren't really upgraded, but you can see that we were at the end, even the level two sticks were doing plus 66 damage. Um, you know, they're all doing fairly good damage, so never really fret felt threatened throughout the whole run. But uh, overall damage, we could have got more percentage. If we would have got more of that, we would have been doing much better near the end wave and against the bosses. But uh, everything else was in the green, and we managed to get it all back up to positives. If you enjoyed this guide, uh, please let me know in the comments and like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next guide. Bye.